That is a purse web spider. Well, that's not the purse web spider, that's the web, which the spider is down there. Let's see if we can get him out. How good are your tickling skills? I'm very good at tickling spider webs. Let me explain. We are using a paintbrush to imitate prey climbing up the web. If the purse web spider is there and hungry, it should climb up through its tubular web to investigate. Well, I'm gonna give it a try. I think I see a bulge, but I'm not sure. Here we go. Nope. She's empty. There it is. Okay, so that worked out well. She's right here. We were able to get her out. As you can see, she came out of this web down here, and there's a big one right here, but this one didn't play ball. How these webs work is a prey like a cricket or something carpenter ant, I don't know, something like that, is gonna come up here and crawl, and it's gonna tickle the web. And as it's tickling the web, this thing comes up with its massive fangs and punctures the web and then grabs them in. This one right here is most likely S. abadi, and uh, judging from where we're at, the location, I know that further up north, uh, west, in the Panhandle area, there's Rufapes up there, and it's a slightly larger purse web spider than this one. Now these are pretty abundant where we're at, and not so too far from actually my home. Anyways, if you uh, get a chance to get out and about and look for them, they're exciting to find. Uh, they're easy to take out of the web as you saw a little while ago and uh, but always you know try to put them back on the web they'll go right back down it in most cases and uh, live the rest of their life out so don't harm them is the key because they're beneficial in the in the environment that they live in So you're walking in the woods and you're looking for purse web spiders at night. Well, it was the evening time, but now it's night. And then you come across this. That's a pinata, right? Oh, uh, yeah, you could, you could play with it if you'd like. Would you like me to get a stick? Those are bald face hornets. Yes, it is. And uh, they're sleeping right now. So they would be extra extra happy if we wake him up. Yeah, for size comparison, there's Mike standing underneath it. And I'm six foot seven. <laughs> and he's lying too. Mike, as you uh, said a little while ago, they are bald face hornets, but they're not really a true hornet. These are actually yellow jackets related to other yellow jackets like the Eastern and the Southern. The difference is these will build a nest up high in the form that you see in, in the video. Uh, the yellow jackets, the eastern and southern, one actually build their nests in the ground or, you know, down low, completely different than these guys. Uh, the thing about the bald face hornet is because their nest is high, their flight pattern is high as well and usually uh, pose no problem for humans as long as you don't mess with it. The moment you mess with it, that's when things happen. They'll chase you for a long ways. This night isn't over yet. We are still looking for a really nice purse web. Thank you. 
got that. There it is. It's a big one too. It's a good size spider there, Mike. Break loose here in just a moment. Wow, look at the size of that girl. Come on, big girl. You gonna go in your stick? Okay, there you go. Wow. That is a big, fat girl. Wow, I wonder if she'll just turn and go down into her web. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Help her along there, Michael. There she goes. <laughs> 